I feel like I've wasted so much time. But the good thing is, I woke up this morning breathing. The rest will work out. With work and diligence, I can be the person I know I am. Goals. Get a job this week, claiming it. Think more positively. Work out. Be happy. Really try. Masturbate less. Signing off. 2 17 Sweet exchanges Can't explain the Way I'm looking at you Through you can't contain it I've been dreaming Make believing That you and me were more than just a dream Sometimes I wonder if I'm disappointing my grandfather. Being as I'm not doing anything productive or educational, and he valued education most. And now, more than ever, he knows my internal thoughts, which means he knows that I am gay. I just hope he is okay and proud of who I am. Wow, I've never typed that before. Felt weird. I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay, <laughs> I'm gay. Signing off. Five, five, seventeen. Random thought. I think if I'm a good person and educate myself and grow, I will make my grandfather proud. A lot of people have invested a lot into me. They have invested their time, money, love, and patience. And it would be a disservice to them not to exhibit the fruits of their labor. This life isn't my own. Yes, this is my life, and... It's my destiny to fulfill some kind of purpose. But other than that, I share this life with the people who care about me. I share this life with every other single person on this planet. As long as I remember to be mindful of that and compassionate of everyone else around me, I think I will be okay. I know I will be okay. Signing off, 914. Although this isn't my finest hour, I thought documenting my current state of mind and feelings would be good for history, or the zeitgeist, or some shit like that. I have finally decided to just be queer as fuck, and like Rachel Freely. Although I am still unsure of the purity of my intentions, I know I am lonely, horny, and ready to date some women. And Rachel seems like a viable choice. I don't like the way that sounds. I feel grimy and male-like. But at this point, I have to come to accept that what I like about her, mostly, is that I feel comfortable around her. A low risk situation. I am unsure to whether or not she finds me intriguing, and yet I still want to pursue this thing full out. What is that? Is that denial or lack of self-worth? I think a combination. Sometimes I daydream about who I'm going to marry, who she is, what will our pillow talk be like, what will she be into? Just the thought of me being able to hold another woman's hand in public as my partner makes me excited about my future. So, but what the hell? I'm 20 and I'm yearning for some companionship. I know what I do like. I like her curly red hair. I like that she's very intelligent yet down to earth. So, wish me luck, hoes. Signing off, 518. It's October 7th and two days until my 20th birthday. I guess I'll paint the scene for you. I am currently in the back of my granny's car, listening to Dig Me Out, getting my prepubescent fills on. I haven't assessed my feelings in a while, and honestly, I'm not sure how capable I am of doing so. Of course, I'm not satisfied. Comfortably complacent is how I would best describe it. In fact, that is a great chapter for this part of my life comfortably complacent. It's interesting how your body and brain can make the most mundane, soul-crushing existence routine. I work, work, sleep, and try to exist in a life that isn't meant for me. I brush my teeth, then wash my face, and contemplate whether a complete shower is necessary. Bird baths win most days. Is that what you call it? Bird bath? I once heard my granny call it a whore bath. What I am most fearful of is 
that I'm better at being ordinary than extraordinary. I have desires. I desire a life of passion and joy. But I wonder if that life is desiring me. I pray I am meant to be used for more. Often I think, fuck TGIF. I want no yearn for TGIM. Thank God it's Monday. I get to go back to doing what I love. And yet, here I am, stuck in a routine that I have weirdly become reliant on. I guess those are the consequences of living comfortably complacent. So right now, I vow to myself to live for all the young people who didn't get to turn 20 this year. I vow to not disappoint my dreams. I vow to break the routine and finally begin to say TGIM. No, I am not excited for my birthday. I am afraid. Afraid, but strangely hopeful that 20 will bring better views. Signing off, 10 7 17. I hope this journal isn't coming off as self indulgent. My narcissism is at an all time high right now. I am now working at the local Rite Aid. I know, very glamorous. With having a new job, I haven't had time to dwell on my self-loathing as much or think about myself every hour on the hour, which I guess is a good thing. It's payday today, and I am already broke. This is a life I cannot live. Fighting the fuckery of life one day at a time. Signing off, 42817. I feel complete hopelessness. These feelings are so strong that I can't even talk myself out of them. Sarah Silverman describes depression as feeling homesick while you're home. And that is exactly what I feel. An emptiness that I just can't seem to fill. I'm just going to try again tomorrow in hopes that I will pull my shit together. Talk about wasting your days away. Something I am too familiar with. I'm listening to Forever Mine right now, and I just love this song. Signing off, 9-17-17. I decided not to end this series of journal entries on a bad note, so here I am. This will officially be the end to this pity me, my life sucks energy. This journey has been cathartic to say the least, and since it's the new year and it's typical of humans to use the new year as a reset, I'm going to close this chapter of my life and attempt to start a more optimistic... I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm really in a mood currently. I'm feeling pretty empty and sad, for lack of a better word. I know it's 2018 and I should be on the vibe of new year, new me, but let's keep it real. I don't get how my depression is supposed to just dissipate after December 31st. I think this year, I'm not going to bother myself with resolutions and bullshit like that. I'm just gonna do. Do the thing. Do, do, do. I feel like I've wasted enough time this year and the following are for potential energy to shift into kinetic. I'm not going to babble about what I need to fix or change about myself. Too much introspection is how I ended up here in the first place. I'm just aiming to be a better version of myself. Aiming to fall into a place of peace and pure happiness. Aiming to treat myself better feed my soul more than I feed my mouth, create some shit that will change someone else's life, meet my people, listen more, write more, capture more, see more, aiming to feel more uncomfortable this year, aiming to actually become the person I know I am. So here's to that. Officially signing off, Imani, 1-3-18. Suppose it romanticized the day is off to be steep under and under roses to a final days judgment hidden through knowledge knowledge without history knowledge riddled through an experience knowledge of the future our future